It's a strange path that's brought me to coffee. I originally studied business and accounting, which I hated at the time. But on reflection, it's given me a great platform for all that I've done in life. After university, I worked for an architect, a PR company, and Remy Martin Cognac. I've always had an interest in nutrition, the body, and health, as well as a passion for cooking. And I ended up doing some seminars where I'd speak to small businesses about stress and nutrition to enhance business performance. I'm really passionate about breakfast and real coffee. I'd visited my mum a few times when she was living in Seattle, around the time when the modern cafe culture was emerging. And I loved the way you could sit around in a cafe with a latte and just watch the world go by. I saw the potential and looked for opportunities back here in the UK. And after lengthy negotiations, a place opened up and I suddenly found myself very early one morning at a train station serving coffee. And it's all gone from there. My alarm wakes me up at 4.45 and like clockwork within an hour, my coffee shop is up and running and raring to go. During the next three and a half hours, it's all about making sure that my customers get exactly what they want. Customer service for me is absolutely paramount. It's at the core of everything that I do, making sure that all my clients get on the train with a perfect cup of coffee to send them on their way to London. I genuinely believe that a great cup of coffee can make a difference to somebody's life. When there's time between trains, I chat to people who drop by, which I love, and catch up on all my admin, which I hate, but it's got to be done. And then, once I leave, I do a lot of networking, which is about building up my business, my own network of contacts, friends and support. But it's also about working a lot more with the local community, which is really important to me. There are lots of small businesses in the area where I work, and we all need each other to thrive. What I absolutely love about the job is engaging with people and making a difference to them. I love the fact that it combines my interest in food and drink, whilst bringing in business and spreading a bit of Harry's love throughout the day. I've served the same coffee since I started my business in 2007. It's a distinctive, ethically sourced, fair trade, Colombian, 100% Arabica coffee. It's a lovely sort of nuttiness without those heavy bitter notes, which makes for an impressive all day drinking coffee. A great coffee is about so many things. It's more than just what's in the packet. Yes, you have to have a good quality bean to make a really great coffee, but you also need to have someone who's well-trained and knows how to craft the coffee. I trained on the job, but also with a master barista in London. My favourite combination is a black Americano with either a homemade flapjack from my own coffee shop or a really good quality brownie like the ones made by my customer, Lauren, at Baked in Worthing. They go stunningly with the light, nutty coffee, heaven on earth. And speaking of sweet treats, I also have two fantastic collaborations with two local businesses. Pure Chocolate Truffles, a chocolatier north of Worthing, make my fantastic coffee chocolate slabs. They have a fantastic flavour and an unusual texture as they're made with actual ground coffee. The second successful partnership is with Miss Miller's Marvellous Marshmallows of Brighton, who have created the Mocha Chocka Chunk Marshmallow, which got my coffee running through them and my chocolate grated on top. They're exquisite. These great products demonstrate the benefits of networking locally and outsourcing to people who do what they do best. I'm now taking my coffee into the workplace. It amazes me that so many businesses overlook the crucial element of serving themselves, their staff and clients a really decent cup of coffee. I forged a fantastic collaboration with a Swiss company that builds easy to use high quality machines to enable companies of all sizes to bring lovely coffee into the office environment. And because of outsourcing and good logistics, as soon as a client comes on board, we can install the machine and have real coffee flowing within a week. I have an aftercare package in place to ensure that they don't run out of coffee and this is only possible with good systems in place and when combined with the service that Spicer provides. This has enabled me to expand my business geographically and in volume terms too. Luckily, I'm one of those people who really loves what they do, so wherever my business is in five years' time, the business will be structured in a way that I don't have to worry about it and I can run it from anywhere. And a crucial part of that is working with Spicer International. It means that I can start organising my business so that it can run without me doing all those day-to-day -day things. What's also great about Spicer is that they fit into my community philosophy as they're local. Their pricing is operated on very simple fee structure, which is absolutely key to me. And if I ever have a problem, I can pick up the phone and it will always be resolved. 
I'm very proud to have been awarded the Business Personality of the Year by the Chichester Observer. It's very exciting. And it boils down to the fact that I care very much about my customers, my suppliers, and all my networking contacts, because for me, it's all about interconnectedness. It's about caring and friendships too, and all our small businesses depend on each other. Customer service is about ethics, it's about being on time, it's about being approachable. So when I need to outsource, I need to work with someone that shares these values because they're representing my brand. And it's absolutely vital that's done in a way as if it was me. And this is what Spicer provides. I was very poorly when I was born. And because of this, I think it subconsciously instilled in me a pursue your passions type mentality. You know, do what you love and love what you do. It took me a while to hear my own message, but I did it in the end, and I'm very pleased that I did. So if I have a mission in life, it's this. I want to make the world a happier place, one great cup of coffee at a time. <laughs>